Hello to all loving and living beings. I want to wish you well. And I want to make this uh, greeting, this video, as a, as a reconnect, but also to give you a little bit more of a boost, a little bit of love from my heart as you see this video, but perhaps a long way down the road, you may reference back to it. This is a great time even though it is the, uh, the last day of the uh, calendar year. You could be watching this at any time and it will still be true. It's a great time to look back at some of the things that we have done, the things we have experienced, and people we have shared them with, the things that we can really appreciate and be grateful for. Gratitude is a fantastic thing because we can amplify the things we enjoy feeling even more so. And any time that I'm engaging with appreciating that, I call it gratitude, then I can amplify my feelings. I can enhance my feelings, even when things are perhaps uh, somewhat cha seemingly chaotic or when things are uh, under stress or when there seems to be a lot of pain, whether that's in your life, your immediate life or family or in the world. And it is not an invitation for this invitation of gratitude. It is not to deflect or distract from the things that we are struggling with. We want to resolve them. This is fundamentally my love and passion for healing, is that we want to resolve the cause and effect, to change the effect, not just cover up the symptom. Or change the symptom. But gratitude can act as a way of not only reminding us but actually experiencing that life is still phenomenal regardless of what we seem to be experiencing at that time. So the invitation, the reminder perhaps of gratitude and appreciation is something that can serve you uh, in a multitude of ways at a multitude of different points in life. And think of it in two ways. If we are really struggling, really, really struggling, and let's say we have been for a long time, some of us are, and I empathize with you for that, then we can still use gratitude or appreciation to enhance our, our enjoyment, or to at least enjoy some of those feelings that we really enjoy amongst the feelings that perhaps we are interpreting that we do not like them right now. I, uh, I've talked about this in other forums and places, etc., that uh, we don't need to take this approach of gratitude, of sharing, posting, writing, speaking it. The main thing is to feel it. And therefore, if we are able to feel what we're actually grateful for, even in a mood where we don't want to be grateful, then that is something akin, something getting close to a uh, sort of superpower. I'll give you an example here. If I am in a mood, let's say I'm pretending to be in a mood right now, but if I'm really in a mood, whether that's causing of stress, something really terrible has happened, um, it's a lot of pain for the last long while, etc. I still want to feel good. And I thought about this actually several years back. And it had this, um, this thought of if you had only a few moments left and you kind of get that glimpse of, ah, this is the, this is the uh, last few moments. It is, it is a little bit of a, a wake up call and uh, um, it's a little bit of a, of a wake up call to, call to fathom that. But anyways, considering that it's the last few moments, what are those last few moments going to be about? And if you think of this, and you can put yourself in that type of place, it's, uh, it's really, you know, it's like a jumping into a cold ice bath because it really brings to the forefront what is actually important in our lives, what's actually important with our uh, so-called time and our presence. And at this sort of uh, moment, several years back, I had the epiphany that it would be most wise, not that you should do it, but it would be incredibly wise and profound 
to appreciate and to be grateful for something because it's like squeezing out so much enjoyment that you can in those last few moments. What do I mean by that? Let's say, the la you know, if you think of the ship sinking, it's not the, the most accurate analogy, but it will be good enough. The, sink, the ship sinking, you still have a few moments of, let's say, above water before the ship sinks. And if there's a few moments in life left, then you can perhaps look up, look at the sky, look at all the beautiful colors. And in that moment, all the other things don't, don't matter, right? To be famous, to be, uh, I won't even list all the, the potential things that we think are important that may be totally opposite, but you know for your own life. But all those things, they don't even take up any space because they're not important at a fundamental level. But what is important? Well, that we are experiencing this, that we get to experience whatever this is that we are experiencing. And so those, let's call it three seconds, five seconds, eight seconds, doesn't matter. Those last eight seconds can be, quote unquote, free. And therefore, what do you fill them with? What do you enrich them with? So by appreciating, wow, well, listen, I know that it's going to, you know, eight seconds, seven seconds, you're like, well, this is fantastic. This has been absolutely rich. This has been like awesome to experience sensation and color and texture and life and all the changes and you've got different things here and different materials and densities and you have different ways that they interact and you have different not only ways to experience them visually but uh, tactile uh, sensations and you can taste and you can smell and you can hear and like they're so like so miraculous and so even if it is eight seconds that appreciation, it just amplifies. It's like a blossoming. Some will say it's a blossoming of heart and it's from the heart. And if that doesn't agree with you or you have judgments against that or, you know, trigger something, then just think of it as blossoming some great feeling, something that you actually enjoy. Now that's eight seconds. If we can do that a little bit more in life, whether that's eight seconds extra a week, eight seconds, in this, excuse me, in this moment, it's extra than what we were going to experience. And sometimes that can be incredibly uh, influential and powerful, but we wait for somebody else to bring it up or we wait, just kind of unconsciously, we don't allow ourselves to enjoy in that sliver of time. And so if we were to add it to a time of struggling, as an example, then we could appreciate, hey, I still got, let's say there's something external, right? Um, well, there's lots of examples, but we won't, we won't limit it to an example. Let's say there's one thing that's really stressing you out, one thing that's really been bugging you and you try and push it down and all that, but it, if you're really honest on a deep level, it really bothers you. There's probably a lot of other things that are really enjoyable. And so highlighting those things as a way to amplify them and just to rejoice to feel how good they feel is going to add to the quality of your life experience in this moment. And fundamentally, that's my desire for you is that you also enhance your life. It's a desire for me even watching this video as well. Now, I said that it's not to skirt, it's not to detract from, distract, deflect what we're actually suffering with or pain or the cause of that. And that brings me to the next point. If we can bring a little bit more intention to our healing, I like the word healing, but fundamentally it is resolution. Resolution of judgments, the blockages, the rigid perspectives that we have, or sometimes the unconscious, let's call them rules, that we could have created ourselves, could have assumed from others, conditioned throughout life, etc but that they limit our enjoyment in each moment. And they also make it a lot harder for us to allow ourselves to feel good. You know, think of a, a judgment. A judgment might be, um, I'm not allowed to enjoy until I complete this. Why can't you enjoy at the same time of doing that, right? So this is not to, to deal with the symptom. The symptom is the 
is the, uh, the lack of enjoyment there. But fundamentally, it would be to deal with the judgment, right? I didn't bring it here with me, but the judgment release book is coming out soon. And that uh, that is a resource, perhaps in another video, but that's a resource just out of complete compassion, not only for myself, but for any single living being that... Uh, that really the judgment sometimes we can pigeon us so much and limit us in such a way that it is such a tragedy. It's an absolute tragedy. But if we can release some of those judgments against ourselves, against our partner, against our family members, etc., it frees up our ability to enjoy. It frees up our ability to see the variables as they actually are, not through our distortions or through a particular lens that we have created, manufactured, assumed from somewhere else, whatever. We may also find different options, possibilities, solutions for that scenario or on how to enhance life even more. That might actually be a great way to enhance our relationships, any single one of our relationships, including and probably primarily with ourselves, is to release some of the judgments. Forgive ourselves for holding rigid judgments, even if we're not aware of what they are specifically yet. That just have that intention that we can become aware of them and perhaps release them so that we can have more freedom, more resourcefulness, more possibility and actual enjoyment of whatever we are doing and whatever we're experiencing. We don't actually need that much to enjoy life. And you'll see that uh, there's a lot of talk, there's a lot of noise, perhaps we'll call it noise, that may say one thing, may say another thing, this and that, and, and justify many different positions. But in reality, I think it is important that you and I remember what is actually important to us. Think about from a base level, right? If we, we can reference back to those last eight seconds, but what is actually important? In the last eight seconds, well, do you need to get your uh, accounting in order? Do you need to get your, uh, you know, an inventory of the, the clothes that you have, how many you do, how many you don't know, right? So what is actually important there? In the same context, not to neglect everything in our lives and, and kind of coward and just pretend that we are grateful in a small section, but rather as a fundamental Mm, kind of like a rudder, but uh, as a fundamental, you say rock on which we uh, we step, or a, a foundation on which we step within our lives, and that we know and we feel good. What is it to you that is really, really important? Yes, there are many things that we want, many things that we uh, find important to go after and to achieve and experience, and I think this is very important. And there's ways that we can do that and. Healing is going to help us do that. But fundamentally, what is really important? What are our values? And gratitude actually will help a lot in this scenario. This scenario has helped me as well. When there's so many different options and so many things that could potentially be enjoyable, important, impactful, etc. The... The great filter in this case, the way to find down what is most important and the next most important can come back to gratitude. What do I really want to appreciate in this moment that I would love and I want again tomorrow that the rest of the stuff can kind of like fall away. And that allows us to come at it from a perspective of like genuine gratitude as opposed to like you should be grateful for your family. Well, for sure, we should. But if it's the intention of should, then it is the intention of, it has the feeling, the presence of guilt, right? And it should not be that, and it won't make us feel that, that great. If we can remember what is really important to us, just from a standpoint of, hey, things might change tomorrow. And this is a big context and little context. Things might change tomorrow with uh, the news from a doctor. Things might change tomorrow from a state of, the community or the state of a different country in the world or whatever it might be. But fundamentally, what does it all come back to? I think majority of us want 
a good life. And a good life comes back very, very simple. It comes back to how we feel about ourselves fundamentally, because you can have many great things and many of us go after and achieve many great things. The presentation is beautiful and perfect, but there is some big void inside. And that is, uh, that is a very, a very annoying itch uh, and quite scary for many people uh, to think to presumably have so much and yet still feel like you don't have the most important thing yet so fundamentally it comes back to us but secondly it may be our family it may be to have enough to enjoy so i pose the invitation back to you of what is really most important to you that's a good segue, I think, for as we come into a new year. And again, you could be watching this at any time. It it's, uh, doesn't matter, but have the priority of, uh, of focusing on what is really important to you. That will help reduce the amount of noise that impacts you and pushes you here and there in every way. It will also help to increase the amount of enjoyment that we have. And that, I think, is fundamentally one of the best things, right? It's life we can be very enjoyable. That does not mean that uh, there are things that we don't enjoy, you know, parading around as if everything is great and there's no problems, no one else is suffering, etc. A little bit of delusion. That's not to say that at all. But it is to say that amongst difficulty and suffering and confusion and all sorts of things, things that aren't fair and things that we don't understand and, and so much more, a sort of superpower is to know what is important to you and to appreciate what's really important, what's really going on. Therefore, I, uh, I wish for you love and loving light in this coming, in the coming days and the coming experiences that you have, whether that is in days or measured in months or years, etc. And to have some great projects, great projects like the one behind me here that I recently, we've recently put up and great times and experiences and amongst that i highly highly uh, invite you and recommend to focus on healing what does this healing mean let's keep it very short there may be some things that are bugging us or that have bugged us in the past a relationship that had ended we didn't want it to or we didn't know why or whatever there may be hurt confusion there may be some judgments that we have kind of accumulated or uh, created or not being good enough or that all, you know, fill in the blank are the same and, and whatever it might be. And these are the things that I recommend some intention to heal, even if it is just your intention to heal initially, right? It doesn't need to, you know, sometimes our, our partner, romantic partner is, or our family members, are not on board with us with that, that is okay. It's primarily your intention to heal that uh, steers a lot in life. And if we can have that intention, then life can continue to get better and better and better. And I already see this taking place, although there may be some shifts that, uh, that we don't quite understand in that, but um, I think healing will make it a lot simpler, a lot, uh, more essential and a lot of those things that we are holding perhaps vicariously or more let's call it it's mental and emotional holding all these potential ideals and possibilities and then all the things of the future or of the past that we're hanging on to as well that the things that are not uh, that are pulling us out of enjoying the present and being really honest and true to what is great within our life can kind of fall away. And that's not a bad thing. It is a great thing because it brings more of what's important into alignment, right? Instead of a hundred things that you might do, and then even if you do a bunch of them, you don't do them well, or you don't enjoy them, it's better to find that one thing that's really enjoyable and simplify and actually have that. So the intention here was to reconnect with you, send some love that is within my heart to you and to your experiences and that with some intention of healing of enhancing life of releasing some of the judgments that we have 
and resolving some of the emotions that we've stuffed down will make life a lot better. I wish you well in this upcoming experiences, whenever you are watching this, and to a great future ahead.